Hey, Mechanical Mike here. Um, today I've got a 2002 Dodge Dakota. And I actually bought this for 900 bucks because they said the um, that they're selling it for parts. But the, act, the body's in really good shape. And um, the interior's in pretty good shape too. So just with that in mind, I figured it was worth um, paying 900 bucks for. And then doing some diagnostics to see if I could figure out what's going on. So the best thing to do if you, say if you buy a new car and you have no idea what you're getting into, the best way to find out the integrity of your engine is to pull your spark plugs, go ahead and change them while you're at it, and then um, look at each one individually. And that's going to tell you a lot of things. It's going to tell you whether the engine's bad, it's going to tell you if you have oil leaks, it's going to tell you if one's burning too hot, um, it, it, it's going to tell you how good of care they took care of it. Like. If it's really fouled or the gap's huge, it means they probably didn't do much maintenance on their car. They hadn't changed their spark plugs in a long time. So what I did, this one had kind of a knock, and I was worried it might be a piston. But I discovered something. One of these cylinders, I'm going to show you the spark plug. This is the spark plug that came out of it. And you can see how bent up that is and how rough the shape is on that. So it tells me something was hitting that. I pulled that spark plug and I shined a light down there so you can actually see in there. Um, you probably can't tell on camera, but I can see the top of the piston. And when I looked in there, I could see a little tiny bit of debris. And the way to get that debris out of there without pulling the motor apart was I got this really long screwdriver and I just took the end and I rubbed the end on a neodymium magnet and what that did was magnetize the end of my screwdriver. So I turned over the engine a couple times. Um, just one tiny turn at a time. So a bump, just like that, no more. And I go back I shine the light down and I'd see if I can see the piston or the top of it and I'd get it just to the point where I could see um, fortunately this is a, a V8 so it's coming out in an angle from the center so I can see the lowest point um, from the top of the piston which means that debris was sitting at that lowest point so I took the screwdriver down the hole all the way in until uh, it's on top of that piston and since it was the end of it was magnetized I was able to pull out the piece and here's the piece so you can see it in the light and I'm guessing that is actually a small piece of the piston so at some point it came in contact or it chipped away and um, it's just been, I can see it's been smoothed down all the edges. That was probably a sharp piece of metal at some point. Um, so that's just been, it's been in there for a little while and they've been driving it like that. They must have been okay with that knocking sound, but um, it's a bit unbearable for me. So if ever you're looking at a new car and, um, or you already bought it, the first thing to do to do a full diagnostic is pull your spark plugs and that's gonna tell you a lot. So uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, Feel free to subscribe and check out some more of my videos.